Welcome back to the 29th Annual Massachusetts Multicultural Film Festival, presented by the Film Studies Program at the University of Massachusetts Amherst. I'm Daniel Pope, Director of the festival, along with Sean Shimpak. Nefeli Forni Zabutaki is our Assistant Curator, and Laura McGough curates the 2022 MMFF with the theme of Indigeneities, presenting a season of global contemporary Indigenous film and media art. To provide an introduction for the next event in our festival on the early films of Tracy Moffat, I'm pleased to welcome Tracy Ann Wint, Assistant Professor in Africana Studies at Smith College with a PhD in African and African Diaspora Studies at U UT Austin. A Black feminist and critical race studies scholar, Dr. Wint is currently writing a book entitled After Paradise, Tourism and Making the Jamaican Nation. It explores the ways a neo-colonial tourism industry extends the raced and gendered hierarchies of the plantation in the modern Anglophone Caribbean. She's also a published poet and an experienced television producer. Be sure to join the live stream event on Wednesday, April 6th at 7.30 p.m. EDT, where Tracy Ann Wint will be joined by Sabra Thorner of Mount Holyoke College for a conversation and audience Q&A on the early works of Tracy Moffat. Welcome, Tracy. Thank you so much, Danielle. I'm really looking forward to us all having the opportunity to view and discuss these films together. Um, and before that, as we to frame or viewing of Tracy Moffat's films, I have a few questions for us to think about as we watch. I'll start off with, how do you know what's real? And is it the same thing as what is true? What do you imagine and what do you remember? What do you understand? And what is merely something that you've been told? What do you find strange and why? Whose expertise do you believe? How is history constructed? Playing with ideas of reality and imagination, Tracy Moffat's work asks us as viewers to see beyond expectation, to disabuse ourselves of our preconceived notions of womanhood, indigeneity, memory, history, reality, and imagination, linearity, and time, and to understand something greater. Born in 1960 in Australia, Tracy Moffat is an Aboriginal photographer and filmmaker whose work addresses issues surrounding race, gender, sexuality, class, and identity, and often interrogates the relationship between white and indigenous Australians in ways that highlight colonialism's legacy, acknowledge Aboriginal Australians' agency, and stylistically dramatizes the otherwise mundane. Unlike most of the films about Aboriginal people which preceded it, Moffat's 1985 film Nice Colored Girls is set in an urban landscape and it centers the perspective of young Aboriginal women. It follows these women on a night out to pick up a captain, um, as Moffat names him, and makes commentary about the colonial landscape while also really having this strong girls just want to have fun vibe. I first watched this film as a teenager in college in an experimental ethnographic media class um, and was really struck by the way Moffat was able to juxtapose colonial documents with this uh, really fun setting of Aboriginal women just on a night out. What Moffat was able to do in this film is to show us a different kind of reality and ask us to question the stories that we've been told in the colonial documents and why they do or do not allow us to see young women's reality. Her uh, 1990 film, um, Night Cries, also plays with this idea of the hyper real and the hyper fake. Set in a rural setting, Night Cries continues to explore this relationship between the white Australian and the Aboriginal in a really kind of intimate setting, as through this film we see the, the tensions in a relationship between a white mother and an ab Aboriginal child, um, something that seems to pull much on Moffat's own experiences as an Aboriginal child who was a f um, in a foster relationship 
with um, a white family. And even though she was able to maintain connections to her own family of origin, we can see in many ways the ways that she deals with what is a, a historical and societal kind of constraint and also pulling on her own personal experiences and asks us to think about what is real, what is fake, what are these, what is constructed within these relationships. Her 1993 film, Bedeviled, is the first feature length film by an Aboriginal woman. And it asks us to think about memory, haunting, this idea of the bewitched, storytelling. And as with her other films, Moffat gives us social commentary, but also asks us to move beyond what is mere social commentary into thinking about people's everyday lives, the quotidian, acknowledging and allowing art. There is a way in which I think often for indigenous filmmakers, for filmmakers or artists who are working in a space that is post-colonial, we have an expectation that everything should be stark commentary. And Moffat is really pushing a lot, pushing a, against that idea and saying there is space within this commentary for artistry, for this kind of thinking through of big theory and big ideas in thinking about memory. She plays with place, she plays with its idea of the real, she constructs artificial environments, thinking about the existence of the supernatural and thinking through the extraordinary. Um, and asking us to think about connections between spirits and the living and relationships between women. As you view these three films, I encourage you to constantly think through these questions and think in your own mind um, about what is real and what Moffat is presenting to us. Is this hyper real, not real at all? And what does this kind of thinking of reality do to our experiences of watching the film? I hope you enjoy these three films and I look forward to your questions and your insights at our live stream event. Thank you.